everyone, my name is Jaybird and welcome back to Lake of Voices. This is my second time recording this video because, uh, last time I did, it fucking froze at the end. So, like, my recording software for froze. But anyways, um, I have my fan on in the background because my AC is broken and it's super fucking hot right now. And I have my window open, of course. And, uh, we're going to be checking out the bonus stuff and I already saw it already, so it's kinda... I saw all of it already, but, you know... Why not experience it still? So, let's just continue. A magical night. Okay. I gotta make sure that it's actually recording this time, because that was a fucking waste of time to record something and have it freeze at the end. I'm running. I keep running and running and I can't stop. If I do then... Ugh! It all happens in an instant. I'm suddenly falling forward, my feet slipping from underneath me. I hit the boards and everything goes black. Da da da. Arden me. Arden. Er, excuse, alright? Bits and pieces of sounds make their way into my ears. I can't understand what they mean. All the noises threaten to rouse me from sleep. My groggy body protests. I'm not ready to wake up yet. Hello? My silent pleading does no good and what I now realize is a voice calling out for me continues. My heavy eyelashes flutter open. You're awake, thank goodness! I rub the back of my head while sitting up and taking in the surroundings. Oh. A man stands before me. He is tall with slender fingers and the most enchanting eyes I have ever seen. He extends a hand out in my direction, offering to help me up. I nervously accept. Thank you. It is no trouble. I couldn't possibly leave a lady alone out in here in a state like that. Who are you? My name is Dillert. My eyes widen. It's such a unique name, I can't help wondering if it's foreign. I'm Kika. Well, Kika the Steadfast, but I don't br want to brag about having a title. The elders of my village just gave it to me because I do so much for them. How remarkable! Not really. You are too modest, Kika. Well, tell me, what brings you to this neck of the bridges? I have to assume it isn't for the fine scenery. <laughs> I hope that the darkness of the night covers my cheeks which have to have gone red by now. Dillard makes for some very fine scenery. Look at that. Mwah! So sexy. And he's charming too. And sexy. Somehow, I can't seem to remember. Everything before you got here is a blur. I'm terribly sorry. In that case, I suppose you wouldn't know the way to the shore either. No. I can escort you there if you wish. I... I would appreciate it. Then escort you I shall. Thank you. The two of us begin walking side by side. It's embarrassing to be standing so close together, but the bridges aren't too wide and it is still nice. I sneak a glance at him. Um, Dillert, what were you doing before coming across me? I was merely taking a stroll. I see. I'm sorry if I interrupted you. You have done no such thing. In truth, even if you had not needed my assistance to find your way back, I had hoped to invite you to join me walk regardless. Dillard. Dot dot dot. Oh, wait. Does it keep freezing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it keeps freezing. <sighs> my fucking recording software is just being an asshole today. We walk in silence, enjoying one another's presence. So, Kika, can you remember anything else? I'm not sure. Can you tell me about yourself instead? What do you do for a living? He chuckles and I blush. I hope I didn't seem too eager. I don't- Eager to get on that dick! That non-existent dick he has! Ugh. Mm. Jump on them bones. I don't have a career per se. I'm quite self-sufficient. There's no need for me to go out and work, for, work to support myself. I see. I do enjoy spending my time walking these bridges and encountering all the unique individuals who do the same. Do you usually take walks with them? No, this is my first time. Somehow it felt like I couldn't leave you alone. I see. Much too soon the shore comes into view. One of the old boards of the dock breaks as I step on it. I begin falling backwards. My eyes shut and I brace for the impact. But it never comes. My scent was stopped by something sturdy. Oh, look at that. 
It's so cute. Ooh, ooh. I cautiously open my eyes again. Dillard caught me and I'm being held in his arms. Thank you. You're welcome. We're so close. Kiss him. I lean in, removing the little distance remaining between us. Kiss. We part quickly, both bashful. I appreciate you walking me back. It was my pleasure. Sadly, I must return now. Farewell, Kika the Steadfast. May our paths in this maze called life cross in the, called life cross again. Yes. All I can do is watch as he disappears into the mist. Goodbye, Dillard. After that, I went back to my normal life. Sometimes it seems like that time I, where I kissed him under the moonlight was just a dream. No. I shake off such thoughts. I have to believe it was real and that one day we will meet again. And no matter what happens, I'll always remember that magical night. Best ending! Thank you for playing! <laughs> okay, now... Now we're going to do... We're going to do... I would appreciate it, but we're not going to kiss him. We're going to wait. I, s I haven't actually seen this, so this is going to be new. Hooray. I slip out of his hold, flustered. Unable to look at him, I dart into the forest instead. Kika, farewell! When I come to my senses, I realize I never even said goodbye, but now it's too late. My heart drops. I hope I can see him again once someday. Okay, ending. Okay, ending. Okay. Now, we're going to do the bad ending, which is... Which is, we say, I can't. I'm sorry! Kika! This is too embarrassing. I couldn't face someone like that. Like this. I run off into the night and never come across Dil Diller again. Bad ending! So quick. Okay, now... Now we're going to do... Lose perspective. Yep. Gonna continue the vent. Oh, I should have read that. Sorry. History. Oops. This features small moments for many pers different parts of the game shown through Lou's perspective to give insight on what was going on with that guy. Yeah, I know, right? That guy. The dialogue, that's not how you spell it. And character personalities were exaggerated for humor, though there is truth in the core of what happens. At the beginning. Excuse me. Ah, you're here. What is happening on the shore? The woman with glasses and long hair is back again, and there are two more people who showed up. I guess they're guards or something. Hmm. Also, the really what? The really big one said you were a bastard. Well, fuck that guy. I'm sorry. The lady he s was with stood up for you, though. She knows about your history with Garvin. <sighs> a busybody who wants to learn all about this lake, some jackass, and a Garvin fan. This is going to be a miserable journey. Um, yes, Lou. Well, I, uh, well, I wanted to be a prowler. I want to be a prowler. Not yet. Especially not tonight. But I'm sick of just being a loser messenger boy. You're, n you're not a messenger boy. You're a spy. There's plenty to be proud of. No, it isn't! Staying under the surface and listening is the easiest job there is. I know how to take more believable forms than others. I'll get the patrol right, so why can't I? Because you can't handle it with the way you're acting, you're, you dumbass. What's your language? What's your profanity? You don't get to decide everything. You're not my real dad. I'm the closest thing you've- I'm the closest thing you've got. I don't need a dad at all! None of us do! And it's still not your job to decide what everyone else does with their life. That's right. And there isn't time to discuss with everyone else. So there. Some other time. I did talk to the others and I'm doing it. So there to you! Before this is over, we're going to find out if you're right about me or not. What? Bye. Lou, wait. Splash. Why must you be such a reckless moron? This is tr this truly is going to be a miserable journey. Mistakes were made. I can't believe he thinks I'm not smart enough to manage walking around. Like he's so great. I've lived in this lake my whole life too. I see these bridges every single day. I can handle this. Wait, where am I? I, I'm lost. 
Damn, I fucked it up. Launch your profanity. What am I gonna do now? I can't go back to the lake like this. I'll just... I'll just, yeah, I'll just wait. Yeah, no one will ever have to know. I'll sit right here and take a small farm and nobody's gonna find out. That's a good plan. Except I know. I know that I really am that useless. I hear footsteps. Go away, please. Just pass on by. They're not getting farther away. Just leave me alone! I'm sorry. I can't do it. I'm sorry I'm fucking worthless. What the hell? It's a guy. What's your profanity? What's your profanity? Oh, shit. Separated from the group. All recording okay? Oh. Okay. It's fine. Those creatures have started whispering loudly. I do not- I do not even want to imagine what they might be so excited about. Hey, is something wrong? Ooh! Lou's got a girlfriend! I wish I could have a cool human girlfriend! Well, not all of us are as lucky as Lou, that stud! I know, right? Look at that stud. He's just so study. Oh. It froze again, I'm sorry. Look at that stud. He's such a stud. Fucking assholes. What's your profanity? Okay, I'm gonna stop saying that. The truth of what happened. What a sailor mouth. Aha! It's a new shell, just like I thought. I have to add this to my collection. But to do that, I need to go back into the lake. You know what? Fuck them and fuck this. I quit. I'm not doing anything and there's nobody who's gonna stop me. I'm walking right back into the lake to take what's coming. No one cares and neither should I. Bye, world. Thanks for nothing. Another person's romance. Kika, thank god you're okay. Gag. I hate that guy. Me too. Ooh, I'm Bemele. My name is terrible and hard to pronounce, and wouldn't it be so nice if everything could just be nice? Yeah, would you, stupid fucking jock? Everyone thinks that. It doesn't mean that's possible. I wish he died. Me too. <laughs> well, Lil, it looks like we still have one thing in common. <laughs> Kika! Get over it. That's not the problem here. I don't want to stay anymore. I'm going to leave right now and nobody can stop me. I will say goodbye, but that is it. No one will even care that I'm gone. I... This dumbass little mermaid bullshit is going to be the death of me, I swear. <laughs> Lose resolution. Ah, it keeps freezing between the transitions. Doesn't it? Weird. Sigh. Well, Lou, you threw away all the many chances you had to kill a human. Do you have any regrets? I regret that I didn't make out with Kika. You stupid bitch! Be serious. I am serious. I totally could have made a move while we're on the shore, but I just ran away. I'm so lame. Oh my fucking god. Okay, listen. I'm going to bring in a new human tonight. All you have to do is hold on until then, and you can kill whoever that is. No. Why not? Kika would never forgive me. She isn't going to find out! I don't care. She didn't risk her life for my sake so that I could go murder someone else. No. She risked her life so you could live, which you are not doing. I'm sorry. Then what is your plan, Lou? Are you going to just sit here until you shrivel up and die waiting for a person you've known o for only two days? Yes. You're killing me, Lou. You're killing me. I'm pretty sure you're the one who's killing me. Ugh, I hate everything. Well, that's too bad for you. For once I get to be the one who's happy with how something turned out- something worked out. Oh. It froze. Why does my fucking recording software keep freezing? I don't know. Why did it freeze? There we go. I'm so sorry that it froze. I don't know why it keeps freezing. I gotta keep checking it every five minutes, I guess. Or every two seconds. 
Well, that's too bad for you. For once, I get to be the one who's happy with how th something worked out. Kika, wherever you are, wherever you go, I hope you'll be happy too. After the sacrifice. Oh my god. There we go. Jeesh, everyone in this lake is such a grabby asshole. But after everything I went through, there's no way I'm dying until she reaches the other side. I have to see that she makes it. I'll just go back to my prowler form. No one will ever notice, and then, when this night is truly over, I'll turn myself in for real. Dot dot dot. Ugh, why is the guide coming this way? He wouldn't know- he couldn't know. It's impossible. I've just got to play it cool. I know it's you, Lou. Oh god. Why? Why do you do this? There you go. Holy fuck. I don't know why it keeps freezing so much. I know it's you, Lou. Ah, how did you figure it out? All the other prowlers have c an enough sense to not be here right now, you dumbass. This reckless cannot continue. It's insane, Lou. Completely fucking insane. Oh my god. Stop freezing. I mean, it's freezing on my screen, but I don't know if it's actually freezing the recording or not. So, I'm sorry. If only he didn't come alone. If only he didn't come alone, then he wouldn't have been able to speak to me this way. There we go. Holy God, Lou! Okay, that's fine. Shit. Oh my God. Why? There we go. Shit! We're so screwed! If I don't think of something quick, they're gonna kill her for seeing me after I was supposed to be dead. Come on. It keeps freezing on my end. Man, you freaking scared me! Glad you're okay! Oh, uh, well about that. Well, honestly, there's another thing we could go into right now, but since it keeps freezing, um, I'm going to look into it. Maybe it'll be fixed by the next episode, but I'm going to end this episode here before, you know, I keep starting- before I get annoyed that it keeps freezing. Um, so next episode will probably be rather short, but, um, anyway, guys, if you guys enjoyed this and would like to see- you know, the last final thing, then leave a like down below, leave a comment down below, share with your friends, subscribe if you, ha subscribe if you haven't, ring that notification bell, and remember, die safely. Bye bye